Day six, start your own business. I am going to keep this crisp and very, very short. We're going to scroll you an article. Hopefully, we will locate it online. It's called The Professional Beggar for Others. It's a beautiful article about somebody who is a star fundraiser for a veritable lineup of NGOs. He started by asking contributions for Baba Amte. You should check who Baba Amte is, one of the true legends of India. And then he was so good at it and got so immersed in this activity that he influenced about 63, 64 other people to raise funds for a range of NGOs espousing various different causes. Why am I asking you to read this today? Because social entrepreneurship is something you can try if you don't want to get into the real world of business and profit and loss. If you want to make your presence felt and contribute to a cause that you like, be a social entrepreneur. Either start an NGO or join an NGO and there is at least one big recognizable name in any arena or cause that you choose. There is Amnesty International for prisoners' rights. There is Greenpeace for environment-related activism. There is Helpage India to help old and senior citizens who are usually abandoned. There is Cry Cry, which is Child Relief in You. There is PETA. So the cause that is dearest to you, pick up the phone, talk to them and do what best you can do for them. You can raise funds, you can be a volunteer, you can look after old people and slowly climb the ladders of experience and start your own social entrepreneurship unit. I'm going to give you a homework today and uh, I have come to the conclusion that my job is to lead the horse to the water because that's all I can do. I cannot, after all, put the water in the horse's mouth. Two movies for you to watch today and those movies will teach you and tell you far more than I can today. One is a movie titled Joy. If I'm not mistaken, relevant details will uh, scroll now. David O. Russell's movie about a housewife who faces great many challenges great many uh, uh, trepidations and goes on to become a multi-millionaire. Watch out for this favorite scene where she borrows a lot of money, ends up losing a lot of it, ends up in debt and her father tells, I think her banker or her lawyer, it is not her fault, it is my fault that I believed that she was something more than a housewife that I believe she had some talent. I am sorry, I should have understood she's just a housewife. Her father, Robert De Niro, plays this character, says this, and watch this movie for what happens after that scene. Also watch Pursuit of Happiness, starring Will Smith. If you watch these two movies, I think you would have probably completed this 10-day course that I'm endeavoring to make you go through. That's your homework. I'm going to say bye for today. Hope to see you tomorrow with another module. But before I go, I need to answer a query here. One of the viewers, a dynamic lady, wants to do something desperately, has this yearning to start something on her own, but was feeling guilty that she had already borrowed some money from her husband and lost all of it. Now, I need to tell this lady and I need to tell all of you, it is wonderful that as a part of Women's Day initiative, you can feel some pain of a man as well. So while... It's Women's Day and while we need to look after and give you what is your due, we also need to tell you that it is not always hunky-dory and cherry blossoms for men. Every man entrepreneur has borrowed money and lost some of it or all of it at some point in his life. That is what is the essence of being an entrepreneur. Otherwise, the whole world will be opening businesses. So go and borrow some more. The biggest learning you can have is from a failure. If you have lost that money, write down why. What did you do wrong? That money is not lost. As long as you invest again in yourself and turn the tides and show a profit. So borrow again. Borrowing money, leveraging wealth, raising funds, all of this is something that a male entrepreneur does as a daily part of his life. It is something that you should do too. And I'm sure you'll figure out your way. Once again, look at, watch Joy you will understand a few things about this conundrum.
as to how to raise money and not lose it. Thank you for watching me. Subscribe.